Good morning everyone. Today is a beautiful day. Look at this, look at this. We are stepping outside of our home quarantine and that's because we've been cleared. We're healthy enough to actually participate and help figure out who needs to be home quarantined longer and what's the situation on the island. So there's a total of 700 people that need to be screened. The doctors on the island are understaffed and they're asking for people to help. And this is our opportunity to give something back. So today, Mike, Nelly, and me, we're gonna head to the medical center here in General Luna and help out and try to see what we can do. So that's what's up today. I've also changed cameras. I am now vlogging. I'm now vlogging on my A7 III today. So hopefully that works out, we'll see. Come along for this travel vlog and we'll, we'll get going. Medical center by the port here in General Luna. Coming here is so crazy, it's so beautiful. See the islands. Usually there's a lot of touristy boats that bring tourists out there, but it's all closed now. Good morning. Good morning. How are you feeling? Very good. good. What's the matter? It's uh, Mike's Ventilator. birthday today. Yeah, Mike, it's your birthday. Yeah. <laughs> and you're spending your birthday volunteering. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's, that's you know, yeah, that's a good idea. way to go. Yeah. How do you guys, what do you guys think we will uh, achieve uh, today? I don't know. I, I'm assuming that you guys have this huge, amazing present for me on my birthday. <laughs> what I'm waiting for, I'm just like, I'm like, where is, when is it going to happen? Like, what is it going to be? A, is it a motorbike? Is it a, what is it, a, a new camera? What is it? What is it? <laughs> Nelly, no pressure. Uh, no pressure, a yeah. container house? Yeah. <laughs> what is it? We will see. Well, I'm uh, stoked that we're doing this at least. And then we'll see where, what the doctor and what we can help with. Yeah. Mm. Okay, guys, we've been talking to the doctor here. Just <clears throat> getting familiarized with the situation island the biggest issue here on the island is that there are no local hospitals so that's why it's really important to keep the cases uh, under control there's so far no cases in the region which is a very very good thing but as the Philippines are getting more and more testing kits we might see the numbers spark so far the contamination is localized in Manila so prayers go out to all of you guys there. Stay safe, stay indoors. Remember to keep your immune system high, healthy. Yeah. So if there was to be a confirmed case in here on the Chargo Island, it would be transported to Suriga del Norte, two hours away. That's the closest uh, hospital with uh, isolation. Yeah. So hopefully no one has to do that. So it's our second week uh, doing this uh, monitoring of the persons under monitoring. So um, what you're seeing now here, here are our nurses. Um, 
this is uh, this is our staff. So this is just us. So we really, we really are in need of uh, volunteers. So thank you guys for volunteering. Okay, so um, today our task is to monitor all of those we've already gone to. So we've gone to all of the hotels, hostels, or homestays around um, um, GL already, from Malinao up to the, the back streets of Pulaxinco. And um, we have all of their lists with us now. There are not a lot of them who will uh, graduate their quarantine today, so it's just a normal like monitoring day. So your task would be to accompany uh, some of our nurses um, to just help uh, talk to the people and follow them up, okay? So there's no additional task, no, no um, complicated orientation because we've done the briefing of the hostel, so they already know why we're there. The PMs already know why we're there. So you, uh, you guys could just help with the uh, um, taking of the temperature, maybe, or just talking to them um, if it's uh, like easier for them to talk to a foreigner, or whatever. Okay. So you'll be there. Um, you'll be accompanying one of our nurses. They'll have their coverage of like hotels or hostels to go to, and you'll go to those hotels and again monitor with them. So uh, you can hand them the thermometer or whatever. Uh, just talk to the PUMs. Okay, so we have other tasks. So, um, like Ricardo is one of the volunteers. He will be accompanying. He will be accompanying uh, our um, RSIs to disinfect the different barangay halls or different public spaces. So, um, we're, we're usually reserving that task to manly men <laughs> because it's a big machine that you have to carry. Um, then uh, the last one is. Uh, we're um, we're taking care of this one pa other patient, a stranded patient who has a psychiatric illness. Mm -hmm. So uh, with that, uh, our task would be to visit uh, the patient and like, just maybe uh, just check up on her. She's still here. Um, then the last would be the POI, but that's for me and our surveillance officer. So, uh, okay. Usually, it's just uh, uh, you can ask for yourself or you can let, let the nurses uh, do the talking. It's just checking up. How they are feeling, so if they're like feeling sick, they have any symptoms, um, if they have fever, we have the thermometers to check. Uh, and then again, if they're practicing self quarantine. Okay, so usually they have additional questions like what to do during this quarantine or if they could go out. So um, uh, the nurses already know all the answers to that. So you can ask them if you're, you yourself are confused or if you want to be the one to tell the, these people what they have to do. Okay? okay. All right. So I'll just uh, finish up the list of uh, teams because there will be seven teams, and we'll be dividing you guys to that. Okay? okay. All right. All right. Give me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, this is Diane, Steph, June and MJ, uh, Jean and Jaira. So we have Mark there, Ricardo, uh, the Coast Guard uh, volunteers also are there. Cool. So there. I'll I'll just uh, connect you guys later. Thank, Thank you. you. we have been divided into teams and we're gonna try to cover an area with all the hostels and hotels I find it I think it's really cool what they're doing here and I it makes me really happy to vlog about this to show it to all you guys back home these people trying to fight back uh, and how they're mobilizing themselves to best get an overview of the entire situation I think it's very valuable information for people watching maybe in other areas that have not gotten to this stage yet how can they mobilize themselves to best figure out how the, the thing is spreading in the community and if it's contained and how we're looking. So if someone finds uh, if someone finds a patient that is not feeling well, then there's another step to this where they will be monitored over time. And if they are still showing symptoms, then, uh, then it needs to be taking action. Okay, so now we're gonna follow the team leaders to a point where we can park the car and from there on out we're going to start inspecting and monitoring. So now we're driving through General Luna which is the main touristy area here on the island and where there are most 
foreigners, which also have a larger travel history than locals. going on driving from hostel to hostel hotel to hotel checking if the foreigners are there or other locals that needs to be monitored some people have already left back to their home places through recovery flights I think the last flight left the island yesterday um, so they're just checking up who is still left on the island who is part of the monitoring program still Okay. What happened here? So we're just um, stopping by to get them the clearance um, papers because they've already been in quarantine. Um, they successfully made it. <laughs> so I think now they can go outside to get some provisions and uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's always good to have those. Yeah. So basically now they are given a cleared slip that looks like this meaning they've completed their 14-day quarantine. So once you have once you have that clear pass you can make cool like this. I need to know everything. Who in the what in the where I need everything. Are you cleared? Just check let me just check if I didn't put all my credit card numbers in the camera. Oh my god. Excuse me ma'am, are you cleared? Yes. Wait line. And this is um, uh, proof that you have already, already cleared the supposed to be 14 days quarantine. Okay. So you're all Sorry healthy, for the no cough, no fever, no symptoms. <laughs> no, I'm fine. All good. I, uh, Uh, we are I know, you, you're doing your job. Yeah, 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 yeah no, that's cool. Thank you, thank you. No problem. Have a good day, sir. Thank you, you too. Uh, this is the best place to be. Yeah, for now. I don't want to go back to Australia. <laughs> no. Because it's crazy and everyone here is chill. And I, my decision was to stay here in paradise. Same. Enjoy the beach. Yeah, yeah, and just people. Yeah. Hey. Because, um, That's my choice. Uh, other other tourists are uh, like they are checking if the, the em their embassy will catch them from from Manila or from Cebu if they have a flight back home. So hey. if they don't have them, they decide to just stay like it. Hey. Yeah. I, did, I didn't want to get stuck uh, in Manila. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Or Cebu or yeah. Davao. I didn't want to get stuck. I'd rather be stuck here. Yeah, <laughs> it's much better. I, for sure. Yeah. In Manila, when in Manila we have already uh, the latest update is um 380 cases, I think confirmed cases. Um, 15 or 18, 18 um, who have already recovered from the. I recovered already. Yeah. Okay. But still, it's increasing. So. Yeah. I think. Uh, Fitted out in Chagao. I think Chagao is the best place to ride this ride this out. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, maybe maybe today it's um, more than more than that. The confirmed cases. Uh, in Manila. Yeah, in Manila. Okay. Increasing. It, um, the person under monitoring, uh, they have a travel history from places with positive cases, but they have no symptoms. Yeah. But yeah. the person under investigation, they have symptoms and also maybe they have travel history from uh, countries or places. I know in Pacifico, they are in lockdown. Pacifico? Pacifico yeah. North, yeah, yeah. Lockdown. Mm. And it's good. Because, I mean, 
<laughs> cleared. Everybody's healthy and cleared. Nobody. Yes, <laughs> he's cleared. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what I said when we run off a lot of alcohol. We'll just use the remote. Tenderize. Thank you. Feeling everything from the inside. <laughs> Nothing can live in here. Stay Nothing healthy. Can live in here. Bye. Hey, see you guys. See you. Good job. guys so everybody when we do these screenings are very friendly um, and you guys m might be wondering what is our role in this but our role is one document number two is I speak Norwegian and English Nelly speaks Italian Boston and English Mike speaks German English so I mean we can also communicate with foreigners if there are communication problems so I believe we're also stuck on the island so it's nice to do something to help Say goodbye and they're just checking passports of people making sure that travel history that they're saying is correct everything was not fine here Okay, so during that visit, it was just nice for the people living there to have someone from the official health organization to talk to, uh, figure out what happens if, because obviously everybody's paranoid now, you have a cough, you like, oh, you get scared, but it's always nice to have something, someone from official government to tell you that that's normal right now. Yeah. Okay, hey Mike, so how many spots left on? I believe two spots for today. Yeah. Um, but I can't be sure. I think that's what he meant. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, it's a tough job. It's really a tough job because you have to be, you know, you need, these guys are very finesse. They know how to make people feel comfortable when they approach and so on. So it's really good. Yeah. Um, because obviously, like, it's a, tense situation when the Department of Health comes and says, oh, I want to check up on you. Yeah. But they're doing such a great job. Yeah. Totally agree. They definitely found just the right people to, to do this kind of work. I found it very interesting just to tag along and document what happens here. Yeah. And so far, everybody's been very cooperative. I can't call the globe number. It's my? Ah, that's my number. It's my thing you have to Mm, okay. Girl and a boy. But they're not there anymore. They're still staying here. Oh, okay. 
But they're not home right now. Maybe they're out shopping. Because we monitor them. Me and mm. my partner Hazel monitor them too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> they're going up. We're gonna go back to shopping and them. So what do we do now? Are we coming back tomorrow or later today? Later today. So we're gonna proceed to go forward. Okay. I'm gonna do it. So there's one there, but he's cleared already. He was already here for a long time. Okay. Hey. Good job, guys. We've done the entire round today. Yeah. yeah. So now I don't have to feel bad about celebrating my birthday because no. I've, I've done work today already. Yes. I always feel bad if I don't do anything. I feel guilty. So I always have to do something. That's why I'm not So it's your birthday today. Yeah. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mike. <laughs> it's my first quarantine your... birthday. <laughs> Hopefully my last. Yeah. <laughs> your day is special. Yeah. Yeah. Doing something. <laughs> So I was like, I'm hoping I can volunteer on my birthday because so I can go outside <laughs> and see see some new things. <laughs> so, so uh, we just need to uh, take this opportunity to thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Your big help. And, um, um, help us out to, you know, to do the stuff, to uh, really have this um, succeed. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Coming together and, yeah, and mobilizing where we can. Yeah. Are you guys still looking for more volunteers, or um, how, how are we at this point? At this point, I think uh, can, uh, you can come to the RH and talk to our doctor there, yeah. Yeah. so that um, he will be the one to uh, instruct them. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much, you guys. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you. so much. Thank you. Okay. Nice yeah. <laughs> bye bye. Goodbye, bye, guys. <laughs> Bye guys! Thank you! Bye bye! Okay guys, so I think that's enough for today. This vlog is more about spreading awareness. What are they doing here in Chargao? Maybe there are other regions in the Philippines, or other places in the world that they can get some ideas from this. How they're using their patients like us or other nurses here to, to monitor and help. So thank you so much for watching this vlog. If you found it any valuable, share it, subscribe below, and I will see you guys on the next travel vlog from somewhere else. Okay, stay safe wherever you are. Goodbye. <laughs>